President Joe Biden has been our president, all of our president, for 297 days. It's a fact, something we all know to be true. Really. Except maybe one person who still really believes he's the president. No surprise as to who that person is, but out of all the weird and wild and problematic things that the ex-president has said and has done since his time of leaving office in January, something he said yesterday is truly next level. Speaking to the inner delusions of the man who was and so desperately wants to be commander-in-chief again, it appears, in a press release yesterday. The twice-impeached, disgraced ex-president who liked to take his mocha test on TV, man, woman, tomato, you know, announced that his former acting DNI, a man who would go on to fight the baseless vote fraud claims, who also served as ambassador to Germany and special envoy to Serbia and Kosovo while Trump was president, his name's Rick Grinnell. Trump announced that now, as this ex-government person whose last gig was the Stop the Steal stuff, had made a trip to the Serbia-Kosovo border to promote peace. He was on a peace mission to promote peace between the two countries and to highlight the economic agreement that his administration brokered there in 2020. An attempt to have a foreign policy mission from a man that is no longer in charge of our country's foreign policy. Joining our conversation, Nick Confessori, New York Times political and investigative reporter and MSNBC contributor, and Basil Smeichel, Democratic strategist and director of the public policy program at Hunter College. Basil, it strikes me we shouldn't laugh at this, but we should learn more. This is part of the lie and of pretending to lead the country. He's got to pretend envoy and Rick Grinnell, um, unclear why Rick Grinnell would be part of that. And there are ways, I mean, the Clinton Foundation, I mean, there are ways for ex-presidents to be involved in philanthropy and diplomatic um, endeavors. This is not that. So we're not sneering at ex-government people being involved in um, activism. This is something darker. This is like a Barbie house for fake ambassadors that Donald Trump has concocted. Well, you know, I was reading uh, about this not long ago, and a uh, political scientist put it this way, that on the world stage, the Trump presidency, now that we've seen it, we can't unsee it. And that's a problem. <laughs> uh, it's a yeah. problem because his, his impact on the world, the capriciousness by which he made decisions, um, has really impacted uh, the global political order. And just as we're starting to get back to some sense of normalcy with the Biden administration, um, he's looking to essentially undermine not only the current president, but um, any efforts of other world leaders to try to you know, bring us back together, if you will. The other concern that I have is that not only is, does it seem like he's trying to extend this sort of shadow presidency, uh, but that he will also um, in my view, carry this not just in terms of interpersonal interactions, but also online. The destabilizing effect of that is, 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 is something we really do need to pay more attention to. Nick, your thoughts? Well, you know, I, I, I uh, saw this story and I thought of uh, countries like Greece that have these former kings and queens who have fancy titles, but spend most of their time in Monaco or the Hamptons. Um, and I think that the president, you know, trying to do his greatest hit, the uh, former president, you know, kind of doing his greatest hits reel from Mar-a-Lago. Look, he did manage to bring a spot of peace uh, to the Kosovo border in, in uh, 2020. And it was no small thing uh, for that region. I think he's trying to relive that. What's funny, though, is, look, if Rick Grinnell had gone there uh, and just had a press release uh, or a luncheon with the officials there, I'm not sure it would matter to anybody or anyone would care. It's the press release and the bestowing of the title ambassador envoy uh, that is, you know, so Trumpian and evokes really his history of doing shadow diplomacy, even as president. Right. He sent uh, the former mayor of New York City, a private citizen at the time, to Ukraine to negotiate for a deal to get Joe Biden in trouble in 2020. He was impeached for it. Um, so it does, you know, kind of bring us back uh, to the darker parts of the Trump presidency, as well as some of the higher notes. Uh, let me read the White House statement on this. Um, outside his very active imagination, Donald Trump is no longer president and doesn't have any envoy ambassadors representing the United States. Um, Basil, 
It is, as Nick saying, it's so Trumpian in that there's nothing wrong with sending, again, your former officials out. It's, it's that everything has to be wrapped in a lie. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the way he does business, right? It is that um, there is no there is no uh, authority that he is not that he will acknowledge other than himself. And so the the notion that he will send out people, as Nick says, and give them titles and give the impression to leaders around the world um, that that he's still in charge is extremely dangerous. Um, it's also dangerous that um, we don't know exactly where he's sending these people, right? For all that we do know, there might be 10, 20, 30 other trips that these individuals are making on his behalf that we don't know about and that aren't getting reported. And so that's the, you know, that's something that I don't think we're going to ever get rid of, quite frankly, because he's that's just how he does business. Um, but it, it just puts the pressure on on the current administration to make sure that um, that they're solidifying the relationships that he he destroyed for all intents and purposes. <clears throat>